What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. Kind of a lazy day, sort of, not really. Nah, I worked a lot, Solo worked a lot. Yeah. We worked a lot, it just, I don't know. It always feels like we don't vlog during the day. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know, a lot of working at home, like doing things at home. Priscilla cooked dinner, so we are cleaning up some dinner. She made a, a Hello Fresh meal, it was like beef and cabbage. It's really good. So good. Really good. They have this uncanny ability of taking seemingly average meals and making them super tasty. So I didn't have the rice with mine, so I really liked that part of it. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, the beef and cabbage part? Yeah. Yeah, Abby and I had, had rice with the beef and cabbage. Yeah. It was she got, good. she wanted thirds. She got seconds, but she wanted thirds. That was so good. Not sponsored. Nope. Just dinner. What's wrong, Mom? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> don't judge. <laughs> Say, don't judge me, Mom. I've been watching Food Network. <laughs> In my blanket today. Oh, she goes back to school Monday, you know? Yeah. A little day off. Just doing her thing. Rude. Was your dinner good? Look at you. Living the high life, fam. Uh, <laughs> just watching Guy Fieri right now. She's like, Mom, I'm busy. I'm doing things. Shredding newspapers. You better pick that newspaper up. She will. Your brother and Summer are on the way home. She can pick it up when she, before she goes to bed, huh? <laughs> so content. So Priscilla ordered these seatbelt things, like this. Um, I think we've talked about these before. I know people have commented about them before. So and, and other people commented like on Abby's harness that their kid pushes the buttons to get and Abby never did until recently as you've probably seen. So we got these, we have four of these total. I have two right here, but it's a set. So this covers the button and then this goes on the seatbelt to keep it from, I'll show you. So it looks like this just goes like, like that, it just sits on it basically. And then when you buckle them in, it keeps her from being able to push the button. Yeah, that's it, really. Uh, you use a key, you stick it down in that hole to release it. That's it. That's pretty simple. This piece here is to kind of lock the belt, like the waist belt, to the shoulder belt. I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me. Right? Seems like it's, it's too thick. Oh, that I'm dumb. Okay, you don't have to put it through both. You just put it through one. And that keeps them from being able to pull pull the strap, you know, to make it looser. Sorry, shook you. Make it looser on the waist so they can slide out. It just kind of locks that in place. So how hard is it to get them out of here in the case of an emergency? Uh, well, you'd have to use your key, or I could break that thing, that plastic with my hand if I had to, but, um, all you'd have to do is stick a key in there to unlock it. Key. Okay. Easily undoes. There's a little, there's a little spot in between the seats right there. In the golf cart, we'll just keep it right there. Cool. There's still so much popcorn here. Okay, this one's gonna be a little interesting. Gotta get creative. So she's been unbuckling and buckling the lap belt for the harness like a stem, like just you just hear the whole time we're driving. Click, 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 over and over. And that's that's fine. That's not a real safety issue. She still has a chest harness across her to keep the seatbelt in place. Um, and like, you know, we talked about numerous times, the harness is not intended to keep her safe in case of an accident. That's what the seatbelt's job is for. But she's been reaching down and undoing the seatbelt. So that's where this guard is super important, not just in the golf cart, but in the regular car as well. Um, this is going to work great. The only problem is Priscilla doesn't have a key. As in, our family car only has this. And there is a key built into this, like for emergency uses, but it's kind of a pain. This is my truck key, but uh, this is all that she has. So, 
I got a random key. You know those random keys you just have laying around the house? You have no idea where they came from? And I'm thinking I'm going to take this and just put it over the back of the armrest. Like so, right? Kind of out of sight, out of mind. And that way anybody can easily... Un oh, well, yeah, no. Just uh, <laughs> I didn't realize I did. Take two. Anybody can just easily undo the seatbelt like that. Could she figure out that this goes in there to undo her seatbelt? Yes, she probably could. I mean, I know that she could. She's she's smart. Is she going to though? Probably not. Not any anytime soon. We'll wedge that back there, good. And if she ever does, then we just move it. You know, we just move the key to a different location. But this is just easy. We can reach around her and grab it. She probably doesn't even notice it because she'd have to look around that way and find it to begin with. You know what I'm saying? I think that's going to work for right now. And the reason why I say it'll work for right now is because things always change. Abigail figures things out. Um, she discovers new ways to outwit us and get around the, the safety issue the safety uh things that we put in place for her you guys watching the video yeah, yeah. it's the sweetest thing ever yeah. Is that apparently andrew's dad took a picture and the bag spelled out marry me but he took a picture where they were blocking some of the bags so it just said why me <laughs> so funny it's hilarious <laughs> Out at camp, like it was perfect. It's like, perfect. how cool is that at yeah, camp? That's pretty cool. I thought that was really neat. Yeah, because that's where they met. Yeah. Andrew asked Becca to marry him. him today. Yep. Oh, so Isaiah was the photographer for. There I am. That was so cool, bud. That's me. There he is. It makes me cry just thinking about Aww. it. Oh, that was so cute. Summer was the best assistant. <laughs> Just like, leave me alone, brother. Gosh, it was so quiet before you got here. Brother. Tell him, man. Said, Stop messing with my toes. You're so annoying. Get him out of here. No. Okay. Gosh. Isn't it weird how different Maverick's head looks? Yes. Oh, he's got a haircut? He looks like a teenager. Like a little. <laughs> you have a huge forehead when you get your hair cut. Yeah. Just saying, it's like a five head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's so cute though. I don't like how much his butt sticks out. That's weird. Like, look at me. I'm a dirty skinny dog. <laughs> Still have a huge tail though. <laughs> yeah. He looks so look much more like look, a loud. Look at like the brush that you got back here, dude. Are you bored when they're not here, Abby? Is are that what it is? Are you bored when we're not here? Yeah. Whoa. Grow them eyebrows. I know, she's so funny. work. So that seatbelt thing, pretty cool. Um, autism special needs related product. It, that's what it is listed as. Actually, in the packaging, I think it even says autism. Um, let me know down in the comments, autism special needs related products that you cannot live without. Uh, whether it be for yourself, like a weighted blanket, or for your children, like the, the seatbelt guard, or a special needs seatbelt, that kind of thing. You know, things things that you utilize that are, you know, I, I'm thinking about doing a video on autism specific products. I think that'd be pretty cool. And I would like to include you guys in that video. So let me know down in the comments, specific products that have benefited you and your family in some way. Mm. Photographer's work. Mm -hmm. So your iPad, is that your preferred editing method, you think? Uh, it Overall. depends on how many photos I'm using, how many photos I'm editing, I think. Right. If I'm editing a lot, yeah, my iPad. But I like um, my computer, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely, like, I know what it's going to look like a little bit better. Right. Man, this is what happens when you don't do anything all day, you know. You're up watching TV at 12.30. She's tired. She's doing her hands still. She's tired. When Abby is less active, obviously, she's less tired when she's when it's bedtime, so. Oh, way past bedtime, yeah. 12.30. Everybody else is ready for bed.
every once in a while I get a thumbnail that's really hard. Like I just can't, especially when it's when a lot of the video is shot in the dark. Um, it's so hard to get a thumbnail. I've been working on this thumbnail for like two hours now. Look. Dude, it's one picture. <laughs> I just did 73. <laughs> in 30 minutes. I mean, I put a lot more effort in my work, I guess. Oh my gosh. And don't, don't, don't let those struggle wow. me. Like, like we got, we got this one, we got this one. I, you know, I was getting some stock graphics here. So this is the end result. I think it turned out good. So, Isaiah had to get his COVID test the other day. Mm -hmm. He had to get it in order to go back to school. It's one of the requirements they have. Um, he's got that all squared away, but then like that day or the next day? That, that day. day. That, that day. day. Yep. Uh, we found out that they are not going back to school. Yet. On, yet. Yeah, as of right now. Oh. Right now. <laughs> as of, it's a holding pattern is what it is. It's yeah. like, we don't know. Uh, Governor of North Carolina issued a stay-at-home order, which a lot of you guys know, and a curfew. Well, he and had already that. issued it. He just extended it. So, it, But that's not the only reason. The area that Isaiah's school is in is seeing an increase. And so they don't want to bring all these students in. It really didn't have anything to do with the stay-at-home order, I don't think. Well, I think that was probably a factor. But the biggest thing was um, lack of beds in the hospitals gotcha. is what they said. Hmm. Um, so, so yeah, so we don't know what it's kind of wild what their version of like we're low on beds means though, because like I think they it was some tiny number it, it was really small and I was like that's like the west side of Jacksonville, like that's how many cases we have in one part of our you know not in like this is an, an entire well area. when it's a small area yeah, yeah. it's, it's know, just wild it's just and, different like, place yeah. to place and that just shows you like how different it is place to place and how it impacts each place mm -hmm. so so they're supposed to come give us more information on monday yeah so it sounds like we don't know it's because we don't know yeah we don't know what's going on we don't know when he'll go back to school it could be isaiah was just saying february you know speculation yeah. but it could be february before he goes back um or they may switch to online only we will see we'll see what happens but isaiah was supposed to have one of his friends was going to come down here from college and then they were going to write up for another friend's birthday on the way back to school. Um, those plans have changed, uh, but, but we'll still get to see his friends. So um, instead of going up there for the birthday, they're going to come down here. Yeah. So um, still get to see his people. He'll, he'll enjoy that. Yeah. But yeah, kind of a bummer. We don't know what's going to happen. Hey, you know. at least all everybody had to do a COVID test. So like we, True. you know, the people that needed to stay at home now. Or have another option to stay at home. Right. Have another reason to stay at home. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. The, everybody coming here has had a COVID test. That's so yeah. good. Yeah. Good. All right. Well, uh, Abby's in, finally in bed and we are going to bed. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, Bye. guys. I'm really good at that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're an aggressive kisser.